Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video and it's Salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to donate to Palestine and to support the channel In case you haven't heard Candice Owens is back uncensored and unfiltered on her own independent platform No longer shackled by the Zionist chains of the Daily Wire aka the Israeli Wire aka the Daily Liar You get the gist of it Candice dropped the second episode of our show since her very recent return online and went in on US presidency failure Nikki Haley. Yes, the same Nikki Haley that panders to Israel by signing explosives that are being used to wipe out Palestinians. The same Nikki Haley that endorses billions of dollars of US taxpayer money being sent to fund a genocide in Gaza rather than being used to help American citizens in need. Let's take a look at what Candace had to say about this. My girl, Nikki Haley, she's just in I don't even understand. I have to assume now that Israel's got blackmail on Nikki Haley because she has done the absolute most. First and foremost, she ran for the president of Israel on the U.S. presidential stage. That was weird. I've never seen someone so committed to another country, a foreign country, running for the president of the United States. It has to stop. It is a mockery. I, I don't know any other country, by the way, when they are having elections and candidates are up there where you see them like rah, rah, rah about a different country. I would be uncomfortable if I was watching any other country that was like, let's just do nothing but talk about how much we love America, even though we're, you know, we're France. I'd be like, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're running for the president of France. You should be talking about French issues. But I don't know, for whatever reason, Nikki Haley doesn't think that's weird. And now she's really upped the ante. I don't know if you've seen this, but she's gone over and she is signing bombs. Here she is in northern Israel. This photo was taken on May 20th, 2024, and she decided to get herself photographed signing Israeli artillery shells, right? So those are going to go and those are going to bomb Palestinians. Because that's what's happening, right? You can pretend all you want. I do not care if you are pro-Israel. You have to acknowledge the death toll of innocent Palestinians I, don't, I just don't understand how any person could look at that and be comfortable with the amount of children that have died, okay? But parking that aside, why are you signing bombs? In no scenario, I don't care if you're pro-Israel, why would you think it is a meaningful thing that is anything other than absolutely disturbing to sign a bomb? Why are you signing a bomb? This is not a book. This is a bomb that is going to kill human beings. You know what this is, guys? It's demonic. And I want to make sure that when you're listening to my show that you are being able to recognize that because part of the American psychology, part of that experiment that I keep talking about is making us comfortable with demonic things like this. And I talk about that, that brainwash that I went through post 9 11 where I was like, well, it doesn't matter how many Muslim children are killed overseas as long as I feel safe here in America. And suddenly you remove a piece of your own humanity when you start thinking like that. You remove a piece of your own humanity when somebody can make you go rah, 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 as long as this country, like this isn't a sports team. Humans are being killed. You don't sign bombs. That is that is disturbing. That is satanic, okay? Signing something that is going to kill people is satanic. So Nikki Haley, I, I find her to be one of the most disturbing human beings in our society today. I think she's gross. I hope Trump does not put her anywhere near his cabinet because, again, she is not representative of a pro-Israel argument. She is representative of a pro-death argument, of a pro-killing argument. I think it's weird that anybody even wanted her to sign it. I mean, whoever said, hey, could you sign this bomb? I'd be like, uh, no, I'm not going to sign your bomb, homie. But she did it anyways. And she wrote, finish them. Just finish them. Yeah, I don't know why people are saying genocide. Oh, finish, finish them. Just finish them. I was very uncomfortable with the amount of Palestinian children that I were seeing um, on my, just on my Twitter feed, just amount of kids that were being killed. And I'm not going to discount my Christianity because I'm afraid of being called anti-Semitic. You know, how dare we stand on a platform and call ourselves pro-life and then be too fearful to actually take a pro-life stance when it matters. Children everywhere 
should always be protected. Innocent lives should always be protected, whether those lives are Israeli, whether those lives are Palestinian, whether they're American in general. We have to preserve innocent life. Candice was spot on. Anyone who encourages the loss of human life, regardless of background or religion, is in the wrong. And yes, Nikki Haley is demonic and satanic for signing explosives that are specifically being used to wipe out innocent civilians trapped in Gaza, and also for writing the genocidal statement of finish them on these weapons. Candice is a Christian. Nikki Haley is a former Sikh that converted to Christianity. But look at the difference between these two women. Candice is the type of Christian I respect as a Muslim. Nikki Haley gets no respect from me. Candace doesn't hate Muslims. She doesn't need to put Islam down to validate her own faith. She stands for justice. She doesn't sell out her fellow Palestinian Christians as collateral damage because Islamophobia is more important to her than people of her own faith. She stands up for Palestinian Muslims because it's the right thing to do. She represents her faith well and like I said, as a Muslim I respect it. If we all represented our religions like this without putting each other down, we could definitely build bridges between our religious communities, despite not agreeing on major theological aspects of our respective faiths. Now back to Nikki Haley. Why do so-called patriots simp over Israel so hard? And you see it with nationalist maniacs in the UK too. I don't think Israel has blackmail leverage on them like Candace joked about. I think they are genuinely on the payroll to spread Zionist propaganda. There have been numerous social media influencers that have exposed the fact that they've been offered money to do so and have rejected the offer because their morals are not for sale. Candace was right when she said these lunatics treat the Israeli oppression of Palestine as if they are supporting sports teams. This is an extremely serious matter of human human lives being lost in huge numbers. And I've always said as a Muslim if the shoe was on the other foot and it was Jewish people that were going through what Palestinians are currently going through, I would still be totally against it. It just further exposes how anti-Islam a lot of people actually are. That they are okay with innocent civilians and kids being annihilated just because they happen to be Muslim. And once again I agree with Candice when she said that this nutcase Nikki Haley should not be let anywhere near a political position in the US because she's a loose cannon that is more concerned about the interests of a Zionist extremist foreign nation than she is about her home country. May Allah SWT protect all the innocent Palestinians, both Muslim and Christian, against the evil oppressors. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description, where we as Muslims can speak freely and without censorship about issues like this, and in order to guide and support each other in our deen. And remember to like, subscribe and become a channel member for access to exclusive content. Until next time inshallah, Jazakallah khair. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah!